Hello, I'm going to show you how do you do integration tests. So what is the idea? So after we have done um, unit tests of the services actually, so of the behavior of the service, we are going now to do integration tests. So you are going to integrate to test the web services, but not only the web services. So now we, instead of using a, a fake, of the database, so instead of using an in-memory database, we are going to use a, a real database. So we are ready. So in this test, we are we are going to execute using two different processes: the the backend, and which is a one process uh, that executes the Spring Boot code, and the um, database that executes the Postgres. So to do that, we define a profile, a Maven profile, uh, where we have defined here, you have here the, the Maven profile, okay, where we have defined a tutor test DB. So this Maven profile is application test int, we'll find it here, application test int, okay, and we defined a tutor test DB, so it's a, a DB where you you just define for this purpose because usually you want to run these tests using a clean database when you start. Okay. And we define, to assess this, we define the data source username and the data source password. So you define two environment variables, PSQL int test username and password that you need to define in your environment. Okay. To run these tests, so I'm going to show you my environment we'll see I have them already defined there okay so it's important to do it and I need to create the, the, the database so I create I, I do drop DB tutor test test DB just I drop it to be sure that is not there and now I, I create it okay and I do uh, create DB tutor test DB. So basically, so I have um, a completely empty uh, tutor test DB to run my tests. And to run my tests, it's very clean, it's very easy. So I do a Maven clean my and I use the, the new profile test int. Okay, this is the, the, the profile we have seen there. And I run the integration tests, integration test. Okay. And uh, it's going to execute the tests that are already here. So it takes a, a little bit, not, not that much. But what happens here? So we are using, we are using a, I'm going to show you the, the, the tests, but we are, we are using a, a fake of the, the server so that, um, but you are go, you, so, so that you, you can uh, simulate the, the web uh, invocations. Okay. And uh, we are using a, a real database, the real Postgres database. Okay, so it, it's running. Uh, so the first one is get external use out web service IT. So these services finished or these tests finish with IT upper case, so that uh, Maven can distinguish between the other ones that are the unit tests. Okay. That's not that. Um, so, and again, uh, as I already told you, when you have this type of tests, usually you have, uh, uh, according to this uh, pyramid approach, you have much less tests, uh, integration tests than uh, uh, unit tests. So it runs 33 tests. So let's see two tests that uh, to exemplify. Okay. So what I'm going to test, I'm going to test um, this web service, which is get course executions, okay, and uh, that uses the role admin and the role and for the, the the role demo admin. And if you look at the code, we'll see that it has a different behavior. What? So it returns a uh, different values if you are using uh, admin or demo admin, uh, of course, because demo admin is open to everybody. So only the demo courses are shown when are returned when we use the demo admin. 
This is important because one of the tests we have there. Okay. So what is the structure of this test? So we, we use the Spring Boot test, okay, and we define the environment. In this environment, we define that uh, we use random ports, okay. So this is, we are using a fake, and actually you are injecting automatically uh, random ports here. This, why? Because look, I want to run these tests even though maybe I'm I have uh, running other tests using the same ports, okay. Uh, so it needs to, 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 to find a port that is empty and assign them, inject this port directly here. Okay. So I don't need to worry about it. So I can even run the tests when the server is uh, running at the same time to do something else. So then I have a setup. Okay. And this setup giving a REST client. So I define the REST client here. So my test is going to run on uh, localhost and in that port. That is a, a random port. It tries to find one that is empty. And I create an external course where a demo cor course execution already exists by default. So when I use this code to create the course and to create the course execution. Okay? And uh, I'm using uh, course type is external there. And it is an external course. And uh, then I have my test here. The test is pretty simple. I start, I log in as an admin user. Okay. After I log in, so I use this demo admin login that is already predefined here. Look, it's another request, remote requests. Okay. The difference is that I do these to store in my headers the token that comes in the uh, in the response okay so that's what i'm doing here so i'm i'm reusing this you will see we'll find here in this superclass uh, a method to do login as a demo uh, 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 as a demo admin a demo student demo teacher okay so you can reuse them and the second thing you do is that you, you, do the, you do the actual invocation. You do, this is the get, two path executions, okay? And as you see there, it's a get. And this is the, the path. Okay. And what you do next, after you finish, you just verify that you store the response there and you verify that the status is 200 that is okay and then you verify whether you just it returns one the size so it, this is the, the this is the data element of the response the, this is the status element of the response this is the data element of the response and if there's one there so as you see here this course execution controller returns a list of course execution DTOs. So I, I create the first one, so I expect to, to get one, okay? So I'm checking that it has one. And actually I, 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 I check also if it contains the, 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 this course execution name, okay? Um, then, okay? I deleted this course. So this is uh, one first, the one difference from the unit tests is that unit tests run in the fake database. You don't need to, to clean the database at the end. But here is really important that you clean the database at the end. So I, I, I delete the course that was created there. Okay. And the other test I do is just to verify that everything is okay related with this. This is a sex control. I'm testing the sex control. So what I'm verifying here, I just try to do enter as a student, a demo student, and I try to invoke the same, and I expect to get a 403 uh, return code because it's forbidden. Is the and I and I delete it. Okay. 
Then I have the test of the other service, which is this uh, create external course execution. And I, I do something similar. The only difference is that now I need to send in the requ this request body. Okay. So I have the test there. And so it's similar. Here in the, I have this setup. And then I log in as admin. I create a course okay, in the database. And I create a course DTO. This course DTO is actually, I need to have a course already in the database, okay? And I create this course DTO. This course DTO is actually, is, is actually the request body that, that I'm going to send. And, um, and then I, I do, look, I define the path here. I do the post, I define the path, and I define the body. Okay, which is this detail I'm sending. And then I verify that everything is okay. And that actually it returns what is expected. Okay. And then I delete the from the repository. Then I do another test to verify that demo student is not allowed. So it's similar, but now I, I log in as a demo student. Okay. Probably. A, a table can be used here, okay, for the different uh, possibilities because I, I could also try to log in as a teacher, a demo teacher. And finally, in this case, I'm um, doing if I log in as a demo admin, okay, so demo student and demo admin and see that it fails. Okay, that's uh, pretty much what you need to do to do these uh, integration tests. So they, they do not be, need to be extensive from the logic point of view. So actually, what are you testing? You are testing that the... So because we have already tested the service extensively from the business uh, logic point of view. So what you are actually are testing is what happens before this invocation and if it if this web service this is well defined and returns the right values and the access control. Okay, and of course, the integration with the real database. So you always need to have a success case to see that things are stored in the database. Okay, thank you.